So in this video, I'm going to go through the 6.1 rational exponents in case you missed something in class or uh, you were absent. So yeah, just to set up the idea, we know things like uh, 4 squared is 16 and 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4, but what about something like 4 to the 1 half, which this means that 1 half is in the exponent, so you could rewrite it 4 to the 0 0.5. It does, it does not mean 4 and 1 half, like 4.5. Um, it does not mean this. Or what about 4 to the 3 halves, meaning like the 3 over 2 is in the exponent, which another way you could write is 4 to the 1.5. 3 over 2 is equal to 1.5. So how would we evaluate this? Like what, what is this equal to? if we could simplify it uh, a little bit further. And so the answer lies with uh, rewriting these into root form. So down here it says converting from exponent form to root form, meaning square root form. So x to the, one, to the power of 1 half really means square root of x to the first. So this denominator is the, goes into the root. And the numerator is the power on the radicand, the number inside the, the radical house or square root house. Um, just some terminology. Radical. Radical is another way to say um, square root or root. And radicand, that's the number inside. That's, that's this part. The, the part that's inside the, the radical. The radical is this symbol. And we can change those powers on so, uh, you know higher and higher and higher. And, but as long as the exponent inside is a 1, then that number goes in the numerator. So cube root of x is x to the 1 third power. Fourth root of x is x to the 1 fourth power. And so on. So then that means square root of x cubed is x to the 3 over 2, or x to the 1.5, same thing. And the cube root of x to the 6th would mean, OK, we put this number in the denominator and this number in the numerator, always. So that's x to the 6 over 3, which reduces to x squared. And then this one would be x to the 3 fifths. So that's how you convert. Um, I can throw in you know, like letters and make a formula out of it. Like if I put A here and B here, this is always going to be equal to X to the B over A. Or, um, yeah, if you want to copy that little formula into your notes, you can. Okay, so then how do we evaluate? Um, how do we evaluate? If we had 25 to the 1 half power, so this is the same thing as the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. Okay, again, it's not, it does not mean 25 plus 1 half, which would be 25 and a half. It's not a mixed number. It is a rational exponent. Okay, next one, rewrite this into exponent form. So if there's no number here, it's an invisible 2. So square root is a 2. So we rewrite this using that 2 in the denominator. And then this power just stays where it is, essentially, and we put a 2 underneath it. So x to the 3 halves which is the same thing as x to the 1.5. OK, now another example, evaluating something a little bit trickier. Let's say we had this problem, 27 to the power of 2 thirds. First step we want to do to evaluate this, eventually we get 9, is to so if you type this into your calculator, you would it would just tell you 9. If you can figure out how to type in uh, rational exponents, go for it. So, um, yeah, calculator could be a, sort of a way around all of this if, you're, if you've got one. Um, so then the first step is to rewrite this into root form. So this 3 goes into the root, and this 2 stays on the 27. So we have the cube root of 27 squared. And now we don't want to do 27 squared if we're doing this by hand, because that means 27 times 27. The next step instead is to 
put parentheses and actually move that 2 back out out here because then we can do the cube root of 27 in our head that just means 3 times 3 times 3 okay and then we're left with 3 squared which is 9 that's going to be the the best way to do this by hand okay another example same thing 4 to the 5 halves rewrite it into root form by moving this numerator or keeping it essentially where it is and moving the denominator to the root okay and then moving the five outside parentheses so we get the square root of four which is two and then we just do two to the fifth two times two five times so we get 32 okay so a couple problems to try 16 to the three halves so rewrite this as the square root of 16 cubed, the 2 goes right here, sort of invisible, and then move the move the 3 outside parentheses and do the square root of 16, which is 4, and then apply the power. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Okay, question 9, 32 to the 3 fifths. Rewrite this as the bottom number always goes inside the square root. Essentially, this is the fifth root, not the square root. And then that 3 stays here. And we don't want to do 32 to the third power. That's too much work for our heads. So we rewrite this as the fifth root of 32. And we move that 3 outside. And we do the fifth root of 32, which shouldn't be too bad if you memorize something like 2 to the fifth equals 32. Then this part inside parentheses equals 2. And then we just apply the exponent. To get eight okay again if you've got a calculator this is you're not going to even want to convert it just type that in 32 and then you should have like a button like looks like this then you open a parentheses and then you just hit three divided by five and it's going to spit out the answer like magic okay now we've got some negative rational exponents so nine to the negative one half first thing we want to do is flip because negative uh, exponents are not negative numbers they're reciprocals so we flip and make the exponent positive so 1 over 9 to the positive 1 half and then uh, an exponent of 1 half just means the 2 is right there the 1 is right there so it just means square root of 9 which is 3 so 9 to the power of negative 1 half is actually equal to 1 third um, another one where we've got, already we've got this fraction with a negative. So we want to first make that positive by moving it upstairs. So we, we get 36 to the positive 3 halves, and then we just do the same. Uh, the 2 is right here. We move the 3 outside parentheses. We do the square root of 36, which is 6, and then apply the cube. 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. So some extra problems to try. 9 to the minus 3 halves. So if the 2 is on the bottom, that's going to be square root of 9. And then the 3 gets on the 9. But if it's a negative exponent, it means we got to do reciprocal. So and that 3, I'm going to move outside of parentheses. And I can then I can do the square root first. So square root of 9 is 3. So I get 1 over 3 cubed. Whoa. Where'd all that come from? Uh, 1 over 3 cubed, which is 1 over 27. So again, not negative numbers. No way. No way. And then the last one, similar to that second example I did. First, just make the power positive by moving it upstairs. So that 1 just goes away. 16 to the positive 1 half, which just means square root of 16, which is 4. Okay, and when we're evaluating, we only go for the positive value, but if we had, um, if this was something to do with a graph, then we would actually want the plus and the minus value, because square root should be plus or minus 4, but if that's not an option, then we leave it out. Okay, that's it for 6.1. Rational exponents.